Alright, hello everybody, welcome to the podcast. Welcome to Two Brothers Podcast. That's my brother, I'm his brother. We're brothers. We're just two brothers. <laughs> He's my brother. But we're not black. No. What? <laughs> Do we, do we have to be black to be brothers? <laughs> yeah, no. No. I'm Only just... black people have brothers. Racist. <laughs> God, get out of my fucking house. <laughs> get out of my fucking house. I I always um oh, wait, you know what? My mic wasn't on. <laughs> it, it probably picked up. Yeah, mic. probably. I always I um say stupid ass shit. Like I'm always just joking. Like I don't really <laughs> Yeah, I'm, re- I'm not really. I'm really not racist, but like, I think it's funny to joke around about shit, especially if you're not being. Well, I mean, I feel like if you hurt someone or their feelings or whatever on purpose, you know what I mean? If, yeah, I feel like if you if you joke more about racism and stuff like that, it desensitizes people, and people quit whining and crying about it. Yeah, I'm, I mean, everybody's I'm not, a fucking snowflake. I'm not. I, I, it's true. I'm not saying that. Um, you should joke about racism. It's just that people are people do have feelings. People get hurt. So that's the problem. Like, Stop having since there's not like yeah. Stop yeah, having if fucking only feelings, that easy. And uh, you, people can't just you know like you can't. There's not like uh mean people police. You know like, right. But because why would there be like you know what I mean like well that guy he said that guy, something that guy was mean to me oh. Take him out. Yeah, hurt my <laughs> feelings. Shoot him in the head. He said not so nice things about those kinds of people, and yeah, I don't like it. Oh, so have, kill him. I have some. I have some friends on Facebook that are very outspoken about certain things and like talking about their opinions on their feelings being hurt or like how people were treated in the world and how it's not fair. No, we, no, we, you life's know. not fair. Yeah, dude. we were all adults. Well, he doesn't work in that. Hey shouldn't say he or she shouldn't direct it towards any specific person <laughs> that person or the people that talk about these things <coughs> uh shouldn't be talking about them? no it's not that necessarily everybody's <laughs> entitled to their opinions and their feelings but well, yeah. it's just that when people get really heated about their opinions and their feelings and their beliefs you know sometimes they'll say and do some things that they justify by their their very feelings you know yeah and there are things that sometimes they wouldn't condone other people doing because, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just weird to me. Like, like some people talk about, like, it's so crazy how, like, Nazis are allowed to flourish in this world anymore. And then, like, they're talking about um, how certain people should die. And it's just like, well, that's what the Nazis are doing. Are you trying to be like well, that? Or okay. You, to, you know. I don't think the Nazis should be killed for what they believe in. But I think they should stop being Nazis. Yeah, give them a chance. I'm not saying you know? give them a chance either. I'm saying <laughs> I'm give them a chance, man. They're just a little racist, okay? They only hate most people a little bit. I'm just that. No, that's not got our drinks mixed up, bitch. I mean, you know, people think what they want to think. People are gonna have thoughts regardless of whether you tell them to or not, right? Like, well, yeah, because you, you can't you can't compel people to like think something, right? Yeah, you have to. Think this way. Believe if you don't this. think this way. You don't belong on Earth. You know, so like, yeah. I guess I'll go to Mars. So so That's outside of that, it's just like people <clears throat> know people know what society is accepting of and what's right and wrong. So depending on what your view of right or wrong is, or whether you care what society thinks, you know, like you may or may not behave in a certain way and act in a certain way because of your beliefs and your morals and wherever your compass points, you know. Yeah. And, and the, of course, other people might get offended well, by like, you know, your like, actions and your whatever you say and do. But outside of that, just your thoughts by themselves, like, yeah, you're good. Um, yeah, no, like that's the thing though, like, fucking morals and shit. Like, I don't know. People are just really fucking sensitive to shit. And like, I have morals. Okay, and I'm not I'm not like a little baby bitch. I'm not sensitive about like what people say about other people. Yeah. That's their fucking opinion. I don't give a shit. Yeah. If you're going to be racist, fine, just you know, I'm just going to ignore you. Yeah. Yeah, you know I feel I mean? like, yeah, I feel it. But well, then well, but well, people are like he's racist. I don't like it. And I don't like him for that. 
and I want him to not be racist, so I'm going to go make a big deal about it. Yeah. They could just walk away. Just walk away. That's true. Yeah. But the thing is, if you let that kind of stuff be normalized and perpetuated, then it gets accepted and acceptable. But in their people, minds, you know. it's already that way. I, you yeah. can't really change that. You, you can't. I mean? You can if, like... You can like, influence them. If he gets them. to the point where, like, yeah, like, more and more people who are racist are being shunned and being told, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Then they're going to be less inclined to, right. like, you know, and more people are going to see that happen. And be like, oh, I don't, I don't want that to happen to me either. It, apparently it's really bad and it's gonna make them feel guilty and bad inside like there must be a reason why people are like oh things you say about other people is bad and we don't like you and we don't want to be around you or associated with you i don't want that no don't do you know like you know like that's how that's how normalization happens in society that's how society gets like normalized that's, yeah that's how cultures become because like cultures like people all s- decide this unspoken set of rules that we're all gonna live by like you know here in america we eat cheeseburgers till we die you know like it's an unspoken rule in america you know what i mean like of course yeah man i eat cheeseburgers <laughs> all the time and if i didn't i wouldn't be an american right we ate one uh, a couple hours ago yeah we did we, it but was what, good oh no but what i'm really getting good. at though basically is okay if you are inside in your brain a Nazi, right? <laughs> you, you sympath- Just in your brain. Yeah, you sympathize. You have these thoughts, right? You sympathize with Nazi ideals, okay? Right. And okay, yeah. But if you never tell anybody and you never act on it, like you never go around screaming white power and wearing the little suits and shit that they wear, wearing them little suits, yeah, yeah and, and and talking about how you wearing know, the cones on your head, being yeah, KKK just, KKK you member. know, being being a Nazi, being a Nazi. If you never behaved accordingly, nobody would ever fucking know. Right. You could. I mean, that's the thing. And if you just kept your thoughts but that, to your but fucking that's the self, thing. It's, okay, so it's it's here's the thing. This is why I don't. This is why I don't give a shit if a person is racist and announces they're racist, you know? Well, I, I really do. But here's the thing. They probably, ch- they probably look at us the same way, okay? They think we're wrong for liking black people. Yeah, I get yeah. And I when know, we say things it's, like, oh, black people are cool, they get offended by it. You know, uh, yes, yes. See, see what I mean? So you got to look at I it at both spectrums, right, both, yeah. both sides. Uh, see, and you, it's hard to have conversations like this with normal everyday people right you have these kinds of conversations or debates with people people start assuming and thinking what they want to and no matter how you explain or describe to them they've already put it in their mind like okay just for being able to look at both sides some people are so extreme that like just being that you're racist because you can look at it from both sides right it's like no, of course, yeah, no. totally. You're, but you're, of course, no. But you're no. not an extremist asshole. You know, it's like the, it's that's like the, that's the uh, problem. I it's have like those annoying people. vegans yeah. that are like, you're a piece of shit because you eat meat. You I'm, eat meat. They go around telling them I'm vegan, and they're like, I'm better than everybody because I'm vegan. Like, I hate people like that. They're so I do, annoying. I do too. But, but like I just said though, like that's the thing. I don't, I don't argue. I don't, con- I don't confront anybody about that kind of shit because, to to care is war you know what i mean like yeah yeah yeah, exactly i know right that's what people don't like i I don't want people to have to die i care so much about people i want world peace i don't want us to go to war but i hate their fucking ideals and i hate them and oh yeah it's like i don't give a fuck why can't everybody just like oh you guys over there like there are bigger issues in the world you guys over this simplistic little baby shit that everybody cries you guys like your you guys over there have your imaginary friend and you like to cut the tips of your penises off (laughs) whatever go do that over there have fun (laughs) Just don't come over here and make us do it, you know? Like You got that and if you, imaginary friend, you got to zip your penis Yeah, and up, if you come over here... Flies around the sky. Which is cool if you do, just don't be doing the whole, you have to chop your penis off thing. I mean, you, you know? could cut your dick off all you want. Be talking about care. how I'm an asshole because I don't believe in your imaginary friend. You know, whatever. My, my dick ain't I've never off. seen him, but, you know, he yeah, must I mean, do your taxes real good. I guess. <laughs> do your uh. taxes real good. Are you talking so, about Santa Claus? Yeah, of course. All oh, right, of course, yeah. Yeah. Check out, yeah, that guy. He must have brought you a motorcycle for Christmas. <laughs> if I, oh my dude, God, Santa, how I would you love. Know? I really want a motorcycle. Yeah, but no, I I like to think of though, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly it. People never consider the fact well, that somebody's perfect. moral compass that's might be different analogy. than theirs. Yeah. Well, it's like you know, it's like the Jedi and the Sith. Either way you look at it, there's pros and cons for each side. Both sides are right and wrong. Yeah. Doesn't matter what you do. Doesn't matter what you say. Everybody's right and wrong. And you just got to get over it. 
You know, yeah, there's all kinds of people making both sides of any conflict look good and bad. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody's yeah. like, everybody's like, well, fucking Westboro Baptist Church. <laughs> oh assholes. God! And some people, no, they are assholes. Oh, okay, you know what pisses me off too, and this is always like, <laughs> oh God. They drive me oh fucking God, up yeah. the walls with the shit they say. I can't even remember half the shit they say because it's just that oh, fucked dude, up. Dude, they they're pro they were protesting veteran uh, funerals because they're like, well, the military's bad because they go out and kill other countries. Kill you, but you, yeah, but you. They don't know what they're talking about. That's killers. the biggest problem. But the funny, they're oh my god, there's they these have no super, idea what they're talking about. They're these super conservative like. Cri- want to be Christians, but Christians Bible, don't even want them. Right, yeah. Bible, <laughs> Bible thumping goody two shoe wannabe motherfuckers who, who probably hate Muslims, but they're like, oh, they're over in Afghanistan and Iraq and they're killing those people and it's not right and we're not gonna, we're not gonna stand for it. We're gonna protest their funerals because God hates them. And it's like, but you wouldn't even stand up for the Muslims probably that are being killed over there who are fighting in their country against us. You know what I mean? That reminds me of something. So, so me and TJ, back (laughs) back when I, when, you know, you and I both still lived in West Virginia, TJ and I were going to, I think Charleston, because there's like a game store in Charleston. They sell uh, Warhammer 40K stuff. Oh, yeah. And he loves that shit. I, that shit I go with him because. Cool, man. Like, yeah. Like, I go with him mostly I, because, like, he falls asleep when he drives. Oh, he's yeah. got narcolepsy. Narcolepsy. He's a narco. It's, it's the weirdest. <laughs> it, dude, the, okay, so I've noticed a pattern, though. Every time he fucking. Well. Is Nar- enjoying life. If he's laughing. Narcolepsy is triggered by. By like, emotions. Yeah. But every time he laughs, he falls asleep. He's yeah, just like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah, comes too, and I'm just like, they do like they do these tests in a lab, and they'll because like I'll tell them a funny joke, and they'll be like, <laughs> they'll try to do the trigger to get somebody to like fall asleep. asleep and see if they can do it in rapid succession. It's not like some kind of way to torture that person, but to no. like, really confirm that they they don't know they're being tortured. Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> <laughs> they don't, they know. don't even know. They it's don't okay. even know. Hey, it's fine, man. He doesn't know. He'll but, never know. But no, like... He uh, can't sue us. But TJ <laughs> TJ was like, we were going to Charleston. We were going to Charleston to look at Warhammer 40K stuff. And on the way, we heard on the radio that Westboro Baptist Church was in West Virginia. And they were they were protesting a funeral. It was Fucking a, cocksuckers. It was going on. <laughs> and it just happened. It just so happened to be on the way to where we were going. Yeah. So we went to this fucking protest. And we like, we just fucking... Yelled at these people. We protested their protest with our protest. Yeah, we we protested. <laughs> Essentially, I protest your protest. There was two protesting groups, and one of them was like, "Dude, just shut the fuck up and walk away. Just go away." And the other group was like, "We're Westboro Baptist Church, and we hate everybody." <laughs> so they're like, "We hate faggots. We think that they they should die because God hates them, of course." And, and if you're gay, up. if you're gay and a Christian, you're going to double hell. Yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> <laughs> double hell. Yeah, going to hell twice, man. Um, go down once, then go down again. Yeah, if we believed in math, it'd be hell squared. <laughs> <laughs> if we believed in math, I almost choked on that. Um, because they probably don't. <laughs> They're like, oh, math? <laughs> math is science, right? Math, we don't believe in math that. Is the evil. Earth is obviously flat. Math Duh. is evil. It wouldn't surprise me if they were the. Tr- they're the. They're the just all these asshole troll Westboro Baptist motherfuckers getting all like, the world is flat. The world is flat. <laughs> it's it's actually held up by a turtle. <laughs> I would believe that if I was fucking lunatic. It's just that, like, the laws of physics... I love turtles. The laws of physics could be any way, but they are the way they are. Yeah. I mean, have you seen that guy, that fucking guy who's, like, trying to... He's, like, trying to do his own space program, and he believes in a flat Earth, and he's trying to prove the Earth is flat. Yeah, that's the thing, man. If you're that's basing the thing, your math yeah. off of a flat Earth, you're never gonna fucking get your rocket into orbit. And he keeps using these really strange methods, like water pressure. See, this like, is... Like, using a jet of water to yeah. go up into space. <laughs> And the next one is like we're gonna use air. It's like listen, we're use compressed air. I know that you don't. I, I know that you think that NASA is lying to you, and I know that you don't trust NASA. But just read their proofs, okay? Well, and, here here's something you can look at. Okay, go go to the beach. All right, go to the beach. Look at the horizon. Look at the water. And if you see a boat and you see the top of it first, and then the rest of it comes into view, obviously it's coming over a curve. Water doesn't curve. Unless it's on a round earth. Yeah. 
It's, it's I, fucking simple shit, man. There, that's here's the thing, man. Also, there's no, if the world was flat, that would mean the moon was flat too. Yeah. And the Earth would cast a flat shadow on the moon, so it would be like a line and not a curve. There, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's, uh, so, okay. It would look weird. There's not a lot of flat earthers, but there's enough that it's like... Well, th- I think I the feel fuck? like... They had their own little conference thing, you know. Well, they, they had some really World compelling... World conference. Like, conference I'm, not, conference. I'm not a weak-minded fuck. <clears throat> I'm not weak enough to know or to think that the world is flat, but they had some really compelling shit. I'm just saying. I think weak-minded people are compelled. And now there's like this new society of flat earthers that has been around for like the past 10 or 15 years. Okay, well, man, part of it is... For a while there, nobody was like, oh, obviously the world's flat or the world's round now. I mean, it always has been, but now we believe it because it's proof and shit. But now flat earthers are like coming up out of the woodwork. Like, this shit's all lies. Yeah. All you scientists is lying. Earth is flat, bitch. A part of, a part of <coughs> it is ignorance anyway because people don't fucking realize shit. And then, like, I'm sure that there are some... There's clearly some flat earthers out there that they're trying to somewhat apply the scientific method. And here's the other thing, though. When you see their video, you know, and they're like... like why, why would we make something, something like that, that up? Well, that's that's, what I, mean? that's like, what I how, was thinking. How, like, think that's one it. of the biggest, like, critic... Uh, criticisms against the Why whole flat earth sure idea like is that oh, like, like yeah like the, the just the sheer amount of resources and effort it would take on a level of like inner inter uh national conspiracy and cooperation yeah. that is unprecedented i mean we are people are just we're not capable of that well, fuck that shit. If we were capable of cooperating that much, well, it's like it's like then there wouldn't be that many countries. There'd be more <coughs> like you know. So so here's the thing I'm thinking though. Like, everyone at one point in time thought the Earth was flat, okay? Because they're stupid. Then a scientist is like, doesn't make sense to me. Does so some research. Earth is round. He says it. It's, he's got all this evidence. Proves it. People are like, I don't believe you. You mumbo jumbo magic science shit, and then like later on, of course they they, you know, but they're say, they're like acting like we made it up. That's the thing though. That's a really obscure thing to fathom. You know what I mean? Like to just make up. Yeah. Earth is round. What? It's a ball in space. What is space? You know, like what's science? Well, okay. You know what I mean, okay. like well, the, okay, the Greeks, the Greeks, a long ass time ago. uh mathematically figured it out but then see okay, this is the thing man Europeans were like they're trying to find a route to India they they knew I guess okay cause like they didn't have the whole world map yet and but yeah. I, I guess they knew that the world was round but they just didn't know how big it was right exactly they thought that they were just gonna like Eep, oh here here's Asia but they didn't realize there was this whole big ass fucking continent North America and then oh South America in the middle you know in the way yeah and right well because they didn't know the new the new world was there yeah they, they, they just know, thought the, the one continent, continent that they had was the only one they had yeah yeah so they thought okay there's this big ocean and you cross it <coughs> and there's Asia so, the, so there's the other side the thing is is like okay Asia. you can keep flying in a straight line and eventually you'll come back around you know right and and there's there's flatters there's they're like well see what they do is they just fly around extra and then and it's like yeah they waste they fly fuel. around in a circle not a straight line yeah they they, they because they, the earth is flat obviously yeah they they go way around and they circle around a bunch and they waste a bunch of time and fuel just to convince us that the world's round <laughs> Does that I mean, sound like it makes sense? Like I, I yeah, actually here's the other thing too though. Like if the world was flat, wouldn't the sun be flat? And if the sun was flat, wouldn't it be square? Somebody like, somebody already asked. Like okay, <laughs> if the world is flat, the sun is a be flatter square. society. I then where this. <laughs> is the flat Mars society? And there was a quote from some flat earther guy that said, from I guess maybe the flat earth society that said. Unlike the Earth, Mars has been observed to be round. So Earth is just special. This is the problem. And, well, and, it, it all comes back to the snowflake thing. People just want to be fucking special. 
Yeah, nobody's, nobody's special. special. Yeah, yeah. Well, that God hates people everyone. do. What, okay, but the thing that gets me is like the, another logical fallacy with that is that okay, if every planet we've observed outside of our own has been a globe, round, a ball. Yeah. Why the fuck wouldn't Earth be? You know, right along those lines. Why are we? Why would we be special? Why is everything else round? Yeah. Why is everything else? Why round? is our planet flat? But we're flat. Yeah. yeah. And. Oh Jesus! It drives me nuts. But, but I met a person. I mean, I mean, I've seen some flat earthers who are like, oh, there's no such thing as other planets. It's just our planet. I never thought it's flat. I never just thought like everything else. I never thought I'd meet a flat earther, but I met one, and I tried to like point out the fallacies, and it's like, for some, it's literally like talking to a brick wall. Yeah. They, like, they, uh, they're I like, oh, I will not be swayed by your round earth well, concept. It wasn't, no, man, it wasn't even you that. You walk away from it, me. It wasn't even that. It was a different kind of, of, of denial or something. I don't know. Okay, I'm like, I pointed it out logically. Yeah. And this person was like, I see what you're saying, but I just, I still just believe what I believe. Yeah. Because I can, basically. <laughs> Right. Well, I mean, that's that's. I mean, they're strong-minded in that aspect. Yeah, but you know, like, I no one's ever gonna tell me anything that I don't believe in to convince me enough to to make me believe in it. I know, but see, okay, like, so no one's ever gonna convince me the Earth's flat. That's at the point though when you walk. No matter how compelling it is. Yeah. At times. But that's at the point when you walk away. You can't. Right. I'm just like cool. Yeah. Don't lie. even. Try, yeah. Don't even try to argue. Dude. Okay. I gotta tell you about this fucking thing that happened to me. Okay. So I was at, I was at the Park Meadows Mall. I was outside smoking a cigarette by the Tesla. We just smoking got smoking a cigarette. Yeah, I was, I was by the Tesla, watching it because Dad was like in the mall like, eating food or something. I was just chilling. We had just got in the Tesla, and I was sitting there. I was smoking a cigarette, and this guy comes up to me. And he's like, "Hi." I was like, "Hey, how's it going?" He's like, "Do you by any chance produce music?" And I was like, "Evidently, I do." He's like, "Do you play the drums?" And I was like, "Well, I started off making beats." Do you smoke? Crack. And he's like, you're not going to believe this, but I knew that you wrote music. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, God told me. Oh, okay. God told me you wrote music. <laughs> and I was All like, right, Dad. sure, buddy, sure. Uh, and he's like, would you like to come to my church? And he like gives me a brochure, and I'm like, would you enjoy my call? I was like, sure, dude, sure. And I took his brochure, and like as soon as he walked away, I fucking threw it in the trash. Right. Oh. Geez. And then when I lived at the apartment that I had, fucking Mormons would come to my house all the time, and I almost had them convinced to believe in like a different religion because they're that weak-minded. I was like, I made up some shit. We're like, just this what I believe in. We're just sheep. We're just followers. Tell us what to believe. We'll believe it. Right. And I, I think they're just sad. They're just <laughs> sad and they're lonely and they just want to believe in something. I'm telling you, man. Some people don't know what to believe, and some people don't know what to do with their lives, and some people want to be told and need to be told what to do. And that's, that's that's exactly why governments are able to exist, because because it's easy, man. They're like, we want you to tell us what to do, and the government's like, we would be happy to do that for you. Well, okay, so here's the biggest thing. For a fee. <laughs> right, for a fee. <laughs> but here's the biggest thing about religion Taxes. That, I, that I think people don't realize is... There's all this fear involved with it. Oh, like, yeah, Oh, man. if you do this, the boogie I, I, I won't do anything to you. He's not going to do anything to you, but God will smite you and your whole family. Exactly. And you'll go to hell. <laughs> yeah. You know, like... Yeah. that kind of shit. And I'm, I'm like, you realize this is just all a fear game, right? They're yeah. just making you believe in this thing that's oh, not shit. real. Oh, shit, I don't want that shit. I'll give you all my money. Take it. And yeah. I'm, like, I'm listen, <laughs> listen, people. I don't care if this is what you believe in or not. That's fine. Okay, you can believe in God, you can believe in all this shit. I personally don't. And if you don't like it, you can just go away. That's fine. Okay, you don't have to listen to me. But I'm just saying, this is me and his belief. Clear in the air there. All right. But yeah, like I'm saying, it's just a fear game. It's just a fear game. If you, even if you look at like the, the fucking testaments, they change it every year, or like every few years or so, to make it scarier. Yeah. Put the fear in your booty. But it's like nice. It's like more nicely said. Like, well, he might not smite you so hard if you do this, but he will still smite you. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, masturbation. It's technically sin, but you might not go to hell for it. Right away. If you jerk off more than once, though. Trust me. You if might. You, you might go to hell. If you ever act human, you're gonna go to fucking hell. If you have sex without marriage, definitely go to hell. 
Peter the G going to hell. Especially if you like it. <laughs> if you enjoy it, you're going to hell. It's a gluttony. Yeah. 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 Dude, if you get you, if you're a priest and you get married and you want to have sex, they put a sheet up between you and they cut a hole where the dick is. So you don't even get to see him naked or play with the titties or nothing. You just stick your dick in to to you you know climax and then hey we made a child. God, you gotta. You, you, I wonder if you have to like pray to God afterwards, crying. Like, <laughs> it God, felt, I'm sorry, I made a child. No, no, no not that. No, no. It's, uh, it felt so good. And I feel so guilty for it. Like, <laughs> can I do it again? Can please? I do it again? God, please don't send me to hell. But I'm gonna fuck my wife. I could not help that it was enjoyable. To I my, enjoyed fucking my wife. To my human body part, the penis. <laughs> and I loved it, every second of it. Every it was single. good. It was good. It was great, and I enjoyed it. And I don't care. You go to hell, God. How about that? <laughs> God's like, you're going to hell, my son. And he's just like, no. God, you're just you jealous. are. You're just jealous because you don't have a penis. <laughs> you're just jealous because you can't scare me. <laughs> I ain't scared. Send me to hell, man. I'll probably be real cool down there. I'll get down there and get devil be like, Yo, what's up, brother? <laughs> I'll be real cool down there. <laughs> what's up, dude? You want to burn? Let's burn, dude. He just pulls out a joint and starts smoking. Oh, shit, man. You have, I thought for a second there... That you were like gonna throw me in a lava pit? Hell no, uh, man. We don't burn people in hell. We burn up. We get turned up, but we don't burn people. That's crazy. That's something God does. That's something God does. <laughs> he blames it on me all the fucking time. He, he always says I did that shit, but he did kick me out of heaven. I said, "Bitch, I'm gonna party every day, man. I don't care what you do. You ain't my dad no more." He's like, "God's a little. He's because like, God's a little." Bitch. I pay my taxes. You know. I can I can do whatever I want in hell. <laughs> I bet that I'm the mayor of hell. I'm the devil. That devil came down to Georgia song is really about God. It's really about God. He smitten, smited. Smited? Is that the word? Is that a real word? Smited? Okay, you were either smitten or you... <sighs> I think it's smited because smitten is like happy, joyful, a sex time. He smited them down. Uh, he smited. Smited them down. I don't know. Smited is technically. He had smite, but he was to smite them down. Anybody know grammar? <laughs> Anybody know grammar? You know grammar? I ain't no grammar. I ain't no grammar. I ain't know that grammar shit. Common usage of the word smite. Oh, we could just Google it. Where's my phone? Uh, what was what would we say? I'm, I'm a fucking f- dragon. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> okay, Google. Past tense smite. According to dictionary.com, to hit strike beat mid twelve C from old English smitten, which however is attested only oh. as to dog, smear on, soil, pollute. Defile. 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 God will defile you. You are the defiler. <coughs> so, so it is smitten, but it's spelled differently. Smitten. It's S M I T A N. Smitten. Yeah. Smitten. 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 So yeah, God, God's gonna. Smittens. He's going to smitten. <laughs> Spitting you with his sh- mittens. Sh- mittens. Smittens are really mittens funny. that you smite people with. That's really hot. In yeah. what, you're wearing, you're wearing these the, bro, the I'm smittens. Hot. I'm hot. I'm really hot, bro. This fucking melting. Oh. Hey, actually, I wonder if we can open that window. The window behind that shelf thing. Yeah, or like that one. <coughs> I wonder if the dude that was like I wonder if he built that like that I know it was added on like the part above the house yeah this was like a photo room there used to be a black light and then there's like old photo things in there the dude had cancer he died and he painted that bathroom hand painted the toilet for his wife I guess yeah. I don't know 
She passed away before him, though. Mm. <coughs> that shower's amazing, though, right? I bet you love that fucking shower, don't you? Don't you? It's nice. It's nice. I like it a lot. It's like a big room. There's even like a little bench for you to sit on if you get too tired of standing while you're getting all wet. Yeah, you're like, oh, jeez, I just need to lay down here. Yeah. <laughs> shower pillow, like, dude, like a, a shower in a Ziploc bag. What if they made beds for showers? Just so you could have like sex in them, dude. You know that waterproof material that you can put on shit, you spray or put yeah. On, like, and uh, they just, oh the videos for it, man. They had like these dudes like they would coat their fucking pants. Like with they it. would coat one side of the pant leg. Yeah, and, and like pour wine throw, on it. They would take a bucket of ketchup and throw it at their pants and like ultra. What is it called? Ultra hydrophobic. Yeah, the one in the one side of their pants, like the ketchup would just like kind of like splatter off and go away. Wouldn't nothing. It would like it would hit and then roll down. Yeah, and like not leave anything behind. Yeah, but then like the other pant leg would be like just done. Yeah. Dern. Dern. My name's Durnt. But, yeah, but Durnt? Coat a bed in that. No, it's Durnt. Like, <laughs> Durnt. <laughs> so, but yeah, co- coat a bed in that shit and then put that bed in a shower. Could you imagine taking somebody in that bathroom? I would there, fucking do that. Like, I f- would be like, if I had a girlfriend that had a shower like that, I would marry that girlfriend. Yeah. So, girlfriend, if you become my girlfriend... Bed in the shower. Bed in the shower. But so they're, but yeah, so. Real science. You go show somebody that and they're like, dude, there's a fucking bed in your shower? What the fuck? That's for fucking. You're gonna ruin that bed? What the hell? No, it's like, that's for fucking. You're like, like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. And you're like, that's like a sit down and jerk off in the shower. Yeah, this is my waterproof bed. Yeah. Waterproof water bed. Water like just pool. get a water bed. Water would kind of pull up on it, but then you could just kind of shove it off. Yeah, dude, I wonder if you could do that with like a Tempur-Pedic mattress. <laughs> Probably. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Tempur-Pedic. Then tempur Are they kind of uh, porous? Yeah, they're like they because they suck in air, so that's why I'm like. But if the inner pockets were like filled, but they would still absorb water. It's like a big sponge, really. Yeah, so I was like, like so if you covered the outside, <laughs> the then it would not become. Work, it but... would still work, but it wouldn't like. It wouldn't form to your body like it's supposed to. There, yeah, there'd be like be a hard. weird. Yeah, there'd be like a weird layer. It would push. It, it like, would be like a soft, like, balloon or something, because the air would all be trapped inside. A <laughs> soft <laughs> balloon. Yeah. Think about it. It'd be like a balloon. Or it would be like you could lay on it. It'd still be soft, but it'd be firmer because all the air would just stay in. Yeah. Or it might kind of keep its properties. It would just push the air to the other sides. Yeah. <laughs> Don't. He keeps trying to burn my shit. Smoke that bowl. You should show the people your bowl. I got him this bowl. <laughs> it's Pickle Rick. <laughs> I'm Pickle Rick. So you got your game running back there. We put play- I got okay. So, oh yeah. I I got a copy. <coughs> I got a copy of Factorio, which is like this sci-fi fucking space game kind of like you're on like an alien planet and you gotta crash landed. You crash land on this alien planet. You gotta like rebuild your resources, up uh, build a spaceship and then fly back to Earth or whatever. So your whole goal of the game is build a spaceship and go. Oh yeah. Got another research done. I gave him a copy of this game and he can't stop playing it. Yes, I can. I can quit every whenever I want. I just don't. But it's been running this whole time. Yeah. So I don't (coughs) know how to get these little blue ones yet, but I got the uh, the second speed one, bro. That's great, man. It's fantastic, dude. Research. There we go. That's basically what I've been doing is leaving it on. Just run. Well, yeah. If you if you're all defended, you know. You have to yeah, everything's better. defended. Everything's automated. Even the so. fuel for your turbines. I guess it is. You got coal going right into your fucking choo choo steam engine. The only one issue I have is uh, I don't have anything that automatically makes those specific grabbers. 
And uh, I gotta have to. What? The, it, the the yellow inserters. You need those to make the green science pack. And um, you can make one with a assembling machine. The, the assemblers don't make that particular one for some reason. Stage two does. Oh, I didn't see it on there. It makes like the brown one or something, but. Oh, it makes the yellow one. Or maybe the magnetic ones and the red ones, but. <coughs> There's not a magnetic one. Or I mean the the fast ones. Yeah, there's the blue ones. Yeah. They're mag they're not magnetic. They're fast yeah, inserters. Yeah. Yellow one <coughs> <coughs> The yellow one is the standard inserter. Yeah. Then you have the burner inserter, yeah. and that one you have to put coal in, but it doesn't have to be wired up, but it's really slow. Yeah. So, but yeah, I want it I I I have to manually make a bunch of the standard inserters and put them in this box. I have to keep filling this box up and there's a box thing that like Feeds them into the one thing to make the green potions. Right. So as long as I, if I do that every once in a while and stock that up, like, it just keeps going. Uh, uh, uh. Like right now. Yeah. I can see it right now. I need to make more of the thingies because I can see there's one green potion left and now they're gone. And they were, like, stacked up, but they've been slowly dwindling. And that's how I know that I ran out of. Some material somewhere. Yeah. Else. Why is there copper in your coal? Oh, I have a I have a track that's bringing the copper and coal back and putting it in that one box. But now that the box is full, full, yeah. <laughs> what you could do is uh, put all of it in a different box and put another box in its place and then just keep it all right there. <coughs> or take an inserter, put it behind the box, and then put a box behind that inserter and just have it grab stuff out of that box and put it in the next yeah, box. Yeah, just keep making a chain of that yeah. until it goes down. Yeah, I I've done that, that before, too, and I'm just like, this is goofy. And you, you Well, you could do that with <coughs> separators to make specific items go to specific boxes and shit, Well, too, you can but... also... Here's the funny thing you can do. So, there, I figured out a way to make a clock in the game, like like a CPU clock, so to speak. Oh, wow, cool. So, you take four inserters and you put them in a square all facing different directions, right? Yeah. Then you make them grab an item, and then they'll place it on a spot where another grabber will grab them, and they'll just go around the circle forever, perpetually. And then you can put a signal to it and make it be a clock. So every so many seconds, depending on what kind of inserter you're using, it'll tick. tick that's cool. Tick, <laughs> tick. So yeah. It's a, that's like the simplest, smallest method I could figure out on how to do that. Nice. Yeah. I know that it gets a lot more extreme because <coughs> I'm still in the early stages technically, but yeah, yeah. Well, you could be progressing a lot more. Yeah, I know. Actually, I saw in the achievements that it's, it's technically possible to beat the game in eight hours because yeah. there's an achievement that you get if you do it in under eight. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I damn. Can, I, it's, it would take me forever, but I could probably do it. I right. I know right now if I could find more resources that that were closer that I could you know progress a little bit more quickly too but and I have enough stockpile resources right now that I could probably build whatever the fuck but uh, whatever the fuck yeah what about the it's, fuck it's so hot down here why is it so hot probably cause you drinking Jager bitch no but it's like it's usually never hot down here I'm burnt up maybe I'm dying I think I'm dying I'm probably dying I'm probably dying nah Probably not. I got laryngitis. Laryngitis? Yeah. Laryngitis. Is it GIF or is it GIF? You, according to the guy who made that format, he said you could pronounce it either way. So that's a simple argument, too. People always call it GIF or GIF, you know, and they always argue about that. And it's like, that's like saying. <laughs> that's like so many things that I could refer that to so many different, like, analogy wise. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> The English language is so fucked up. It is the most complicated language because we make fucking words all the time. Yeah. Like fucking selfie. You're a selfie! Anyway, you want to wrap this up now? I was trying to think of that word. They spelled fish like P-H. No, it's uh, G-H... I C H S C H or something like that. G yeah. G H I C S C H. 
you can have nation, which is spelled N A T I O N, but T is like it. the S and the H for sh, you know. Yeah, but you could put like, well, yeah, that's true. You could do that. Like and say, then there's sp- Ruff, R O U G H, but it's like U F F. Yeah. But you could you could also say um, you could spell nation like N Y or N A Y. S H U N. Yeah, you could. Nation. Yeah, like Fake sa- nation. Sound wise, yeah, but we've all decided and accepted that how it's been spelled and how. Fake nation. Natia. No, it's nation. You idiot. Oh. Natia. 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 So, so it must be so confusing for foreigners to learn our language. Like the Japanese language doesn't have an L sound. So, they always go, like, or whatever, like, you know. Yeah, I actually... You're so lucky! You know, like... Yeah, I saw a research paper, and they were talking about the actual, like, the actual... <laughs> something weird about, like... The L. The letter L. Actually not ever using it, like, the capacity to be able to learn it. Because there's actually a critical stage, like, to learn language. Like, yeah. it's, They found, like, kids that got lost in the wild, you know? And, like, missed that stage of, like, learning language from people, but survived and grew up. And then they, they were found, and they were brought into society. And, they right. like, people were like, they're a little weird. Well, like, yeah, they well, lived yeah, in the I wild. Well, yeah, if you fucking lived in the wild, yeah, yeah, you'd be a little weird. It's like, and they don't really... They, there was a dude They don't that, really talk English or whatever language, you know? Like There was a dude that had a daughter and kept her <laughs> locked up, tied up in a room for, like, 13, 14 years. Jesus Christ. She just sat in a seat, and if she had to use the bathroom, that seat was the bathroom. Jesus like, it was Christ. like a hole, you know? And would rarely feed her, never spoke a word to her, didn't let her see the outside world. She never saw anything. She So, she, she was the most feral child in the world. And she's still alive today. That's crazy. Like, she lives in California somewhere, and they have never disclosed what her name was. And she's, like, in a rehabilitation system where they're trying to, like, get her to stabilize, you know, to be a normal person. Yeah. But it's like, how do you become normal after that? Yeah. Your whole life has been a blank up until a certain point in time. Yeah. You're just in a room. It's just, like, shocking the shit that people do. But it's like, I always want to study that kind of shit because it's like, what would you, what would happen to you? Yeah. Like, how fucked up would you be? Yeah. I don't know. It's crazy, man, but I think about it all the time. I think about shit like that all the time. I'm like, let's just lock a person up for like 10 days. With no light, no food, okay. no nothing. Technically, being put into. Or like liquid food. Like, they're. See, the prison system, especially in our country, is really fucked up anyway, but. Uh, being locked in solitary confinement. Is fucked up. Is, it's it's dam- brain damaging. Yeah, it's brain damaging. And they did it on that that one dude. They locked in that room for the. Experiment. Oh, you talking about Vsauce? Yeah, where you can Michael volunteer. Stevens? Yeah. Well, Michael Stevens, he did an experiment where he stayed in a room for three days because after three days, <laughs> then that's when you start to develop brain damage. Yeah, and go crazy and shit, or whatever. Yeah, hallucinate. And, he kind of uh, lose a grip on he, like time. He was yeah oh yeah you totally lose grip. Well, because it had it was a one room. He there was no windows. He had food preset in there, water preset in there. And the only thing he could talk to <coughs> was the camera, which he thought <coughs> most of the time there was somebody on the other side. But then he realized, like, oh, wait, there's not always going to be someone on the other side, so I'm just talking to the fucking wall. Mm. And he starts to fucking lose it. I'll have to show you that shit, dude. I don't know if you ever watched Minefield, but if you have, it's one of the coolest fucking shows Ever, in my opinion. Yeah. I know you would love it, dude. Because they do, like, crazy shit. Like, they do this test where, like, um, there's, like, five dudes on one train track, one big fat dude on another train track, and the train split is, like, it splits, right? There's a train coming. They don't realize it's coming. So you have to make the decision. Kill one guy or the five guys. Yeah. Well, Someone's got to die. Yeah. Who would you... What would you choose? And it's, Like, you... Have to make that's a critical decision you have to make very quickly. Who do you kill? One person or three or five? Yeah. Some people are like, I wouldn't do anything. 
It's like you're then you're gonna be responsible for the deaths. No, I won't, because I didn't make a decision. But right, well, that's what that's the thing. Most some people, people, you know, what makes it easier for some people? Like, okay, how about this? You're not okay. In one scenario, you're pushing the fat guy in front of the train. In another scenario, you're pushing a button uh, that causes that shoves the, five people into the front of a train. No, that that makes the fat guy get pushed in front of the train. So you're not directly <coughs> responsible like right. you would be if you're physically actually pushing the person yourself. And some people are better. They they feel better about well, if I just have to push a button and I'm not really you know actually doing it. Okay, yeah, but like well, yeah. when they did the experiment, only like two people out of like twenty succeeded, and actually saved five people and killed the one guy. Because the test was to see if they could actually do it and if they would actually do it. Because obviously the right choice would be to kill the one person to save five. Well, yeah, you wouldn't yeah. kill five people, save one. Well, yeah, well. I'd hate to be that one guy, but it probably would be me. Either way, because I'm big and fat. Either way. Either way. The reason why they were even doing this test was to... Because, like, they're trying to think of logical ways... Robots and machines could take care of humans. Oh, what yeah, they would like, do in a situation Oh, like yeah, that. The, 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 uh... <coughs> yeah. Less casualties means a better... Uh, it's a more What's positive the name spin of that on fucking it. test again? There's a name for it. The Turing test? Yeah. No. No, well, the Turing... The I'm Turing... talking about the one with the train thing, the trolley scenario. Uh, a train test? Well, there's a... Well, yeah. It's a really simple thing like yeah, that. Yeah. It, but there's the Turing test, which is to it's test... Like, it's like a morality uh, test, too. They t- use it to well, test yeah. for psycho- psychopathy, but... Yeah. Well... Well, for it, anybody to ever make a decision would technically be psychopathy. Frozen with fear and an indecision. If you, I mean, if you were really put in that situation, yeah, you would probably be frozen in fear. A psychopath wouldn't be, though. They would have... Technically. Technically. Okay, some people are just better than others. But some people are just crazy. Some people are just crazy. And they appear to be bad. Like Donald Trump, he's probably a psychopath. Probably. Half the presidents we've had throughout the U.S., you know... It's timeline in history. Half of them have probably been psychopaths. They say if you're left-handed, you're a psychopath. And we're likely to have psychopathic tendencies. They say all kinds of things about left-handed people, and I think it's just like... I think it's just a stigma to make you be right-handed. Yeah. Well, I don't want to be crazy. I better use my right hand. Uh, well, they've tried to force people that are right, left-handed to be right-handed, and it's it's fucked them and up, And it killed man. them. Yeah, it's fucked people up. No, I'm just like, I don't know if it killed it's them fucked them up. No. It, I mean, you're, <coughs> it just doesn't. It makes them feel uncomfortable. There's no, if anything. there's no fucking real reason why anybody would be left-handed, but some people are. But very few. Here's and the thing, I'm not completely right-handed, but I write with my right hand because I was taught that way. But I drive with my left hand. I open doors with my left hand. I do everything else with my left hand. Well, I, I when feel I go like to wash my hands, I go for the sink with my left hand. Not first. just being ambidextrous, but I feel like there's kind of like this this uh, this anti dominant hand uh, feature sometimes that people employ. That it's like you use. It's because your, we're raised and taught to do it. Well, no, you ra- no, you're you're using In schools. Your, they do. You're that. using your less dominant hand, like I your left you. ha- hand, to do things sometimes because you still need your dominant hand to be open for more important. Right, yeah. That your right like hand I always is carry be stuff more. in my left hand because I might need my right hand to open a door. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, because I know that would be the better hand to use for a door, but I still use my left hand to open yeah. the door. And there was like lots of times <coughs> I I, in the military, you're forced to use your left hand to do lots of things with because your right hand has to be open and ready for saluting. Right. At any given time, because you could at any time you could pass by a general and oh my god, if you don't fucking salute that motherfucker, you might kill you. They'll they'll shoot you you in the head right there. Take him out. (laughs) He's a fucking asshole. Kill him. He didn't salute. Kill him. (laughs) Yeah, he's son of a bitch. What a piece of shit. Get him out of the army. (laughs) Yeah, I don't want that scum (laughs) here anymore. I met a four star general once. Oh yeah. Yeah. I forget what general I met. He. Dude, we were at JRTC for like our, our our like refresher combat training before going to Afghanistan, and some general came and he had dinner with us in the cafeteria. That or, you know, did you ever did you ever meet the guy who played Kumar? We were, we were watching. No, we were we were Ugh. watching. Um, but he came. But he came. He fucking came. So I didn't see him, but he was where I was at. I was like, oh the my guy who played Kumar. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh my god, because he was the president's liaison. Well, oh, dude, I seen him, President. O- 
President Obama came to Fort Stewart when I was there, and I, I was like, I could have thrown a rock and hit him if I wanted to, you know? Like yeah, I was but that then cl- you'd probably get arrested. Well, yeah, duh, but I was that close, you know? Possibly murdered. <coughs> um, Anyways. There was snipers everywhere, dude, on trucks. Really? Like, yeah, making sure that nobody was going to, you know, kill Fuck the, up the president. Yeah, yeah. take out. There, there are some people who join the military, but not for... Yeah, some the people, military. Some they people join it because they want to get in and like fuck shit up. Yeah, fuck shit up. So, but you know, anyway, uh, god damn it. Uh, but when I was at the I military did, academy, I didn't meet him. But at yeah, the end. some general dude came to where we were eating, and we yeah. were, we, we were in a cafeteria eating. Goes with the generals, and we and we and he was and we were watching. Uh, we were soldiers. <laughs> we were soldiers. Now we are soldiers. We were, but now we're we are. Yeah, <laughs> we were, but now we are. Uh, you know, it, it's about Vietnam, and I mean, this isn't Vietnam, so obviously this is America. No way, this is Canada. Oh wait, no wait, it's Colorado. This is America. This is America. Look at me slipping. So up. controversial. Yeah, what's up with that? Why? Why is everybody thinking this? I, you know what I think it is? I think it's a hit piece. Like I think it's. He did it to prove he could make a shitty song and it would it would go to the top of the charts and it did and it's not that great but I like it I enjoy it because it's Childish Gambino. I, I don't even really personally have an opinion because I like metal bitches. Yeah, and, and occasionally you listen to some electronic music and get into it. Stop it! It's gonna go through the mic. It's attached to it. <laughs> Anyway, you want to wrap this up? It's been almost an hour. Yeah. I, I realize people don't like to watch. I do. I like to watch like three-hour podcasts, but not everybody does. Nah, man. 15-minute top. 15, it's like uh, 51 minutes. Damn, that reversed the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this has been Two Brothers in a podcast. Two brothers. Just two of us. We only got each other. It's just two of us, two. T- two. If he dies, then it's just one brother by himself. And then he's not even really a brother. He's just a weird dude. Hey, why am I? What do I have to die? I was, I wasn't saying you. I know. I'm just, I'm just saying you're weird. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Two Brothers. It's been Two Brothers podcast. He's, he's going to go play a Factorio. I'm going to join him. Pokemon Go is cool still. Kind of. <laughs> His name's Byron, by the way. I'm Lee. No, it's not. B- Byron, Lee. You know me, but you don't like. You don't know that guy. I mean, you might know that my guy. My name's Bill. Okay, his name's Bill. He lives uh, on my couch. Bye. <laughs>